Hey everyone, Charles here from Kevin Wallace Training. A few weeks ago, I had a chance to jump into a WebEx where Cisco took us on a deep dive of the new CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Lab. In this video, I'll explain why I attended this session and share some information about the new exam format. Now, as I said, this webinar took place a couple of weeks ago. I had intentions of creating this video much sooner, but Kevin Wallace and myself have been busy finishing up our brand new Anarsi video training course, which you can check out by following a link found in the description. So let's start out by pointing out a few of the most obvious changes, and many of those have been discussed and debated about for months ever since the announcement from Cisco, and namely the fact that there is no longer a distinction between the written CCIE and the lab exam. The only prerequisite now for taking the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure exam is passing the 300-401 Encore exam. So once you pass Encore, you can take a concentration exam such as a NARC, and you will obtain a full CCNP Enterprise certification. Or you can go straight for the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Lab exam. So let's talk about the format of the exam, which has also changed. Instead of having three modules, as the old CCIE route switch did, the new exam has two modules. This is eight hours total, the first module being three hours and the second module being five hours. The first module is a design module, again consisting of three hours. And the interesting thing about the design module is that it's formatted as what Cisco calls a progressive storyline. And that means that it's going to change and evolve as you go through the design module based on your answers. So you'll be presented with a topology, you'll be presented with some drawings of that, relevant background information, and even emails, which I thought was pretty cool. And you'll be assigned to a particular role, such as a consultant or an internal company administrator. And this is going to be a scenario-based portion. You won't be doing any configuration in this module. This is going to be things like drag and drop, multiple choice, single choice, uh, drop down selections, all the things that you're used to seeing on a typical Cisco exam. And just like all of those exams, there's no backward navigation allowed. So once you answer, that's it. You have to move on. Now, you will have access to Cisco's online documentation. If you're familiar at all with the CCIE exam, you know that this is the only support tool that you're allowed to use during the exam. And it's also important to note that the search function is disabled during the exam. So you should be familiar with navigating the support document. You can, however, use your browser's search function. So you can search through a document for a specific keyword if you need to do that. You can find a link to this documentation also in the video description. But remember, any configuration examples that you see in the online documentation, those are not going to be available during the exam. They're great for studying, but don't expect to rely on that during the exam. Now, after the design module, we move into a five-hour block called Deploy, Operate, and Optimize. That's the name of the module. A few differences between this module and the design module. First of all, you're going to be given all of your objectives and all of your resources right up front and you're going to actually be building a network very similar to what you designed in the previous module. So that's a big change from our previous exam where we had three different modules in using separate topologies potentially for each of those modules. In the new exam, you're gonna have a unified single topology that's gonna to be used throughout the eight hour exam, which I think is very advantageous as far as just wrapping your head around exactly what's happening. Now, having said that, it might not be exactly identical to your design, but they are promising that at the very least, the topology, the diagram, the IP addressing, and the services used will all be the same. This module will consist of a few web-based questions, but primarily this is going to be configuration. And that's going to look very close to what you're used to seeing with any Cisco configuration exam portion. So now on to why I attended this session. I absolutely love learning new things. I'm a very curious guy. I completed my CCNP route switch last year. I love Cisco Technologies. 
and CCIE has been on my radar for quite some time. So my family is bought into this idea. They're behind me. Kevin is behind me. So I want to publicly announce that I'm officially going for my CCIE enterprise infrastructure. Research suggests that you're four times more likely to accomplish your goal when you accompany that with a public declaration. So that's what I'm doing. I'm asking you guys to hold me accountable to that. And not only that, but I want to invite you along. I'm planning to make new videos each week documenting my CCIE study progress. And you'll be able to find those on my own YouTube channel. Again, link in the description below. So if that's something you're interested in, go and check that out. And I'd love it if you would consider subscribing and following along or maybe sharing that with someone who you might think would like that. Hopefully you'll find that content inspiring or useful for your own studies. And I'll also say I'm well aware of what a long journey this is going to be. I have absolutely no illusions about the difficulty at all. But I can tell you that my plan is to go in and attempt to pass the lab on the first try. I'm absolutely going to give it my best shot, everything I got. So if you're interested in the CCIE, Enterprise Infrastructure, let me know in the comments below or find me on Twitter or LinkedIn or jump over to my YouTube channel and let me know how that's going for you. And be sure again to check out my channel. I would love it if you would consider subscribing to that. I'll be sharing over there some new things each week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.